My name is Chris Tummings. Uh, I'm an actor and the creator of the amazing Gold Star Bamboo Sax. Uh, I was born in Hackney in uh, 1961. And uh, it was a tough old time in the 60s. You know, my parents are uh, from Jamaica, so I have a second generation. And I went to uh, my primary school, was Princess May in Stoke Newington. That's why I learned uh, the street, the street smarts, and everything I needed to grow up in, this, in London. School was fun for me. I enjoyed school. I left school without many qualifications because uh, I got the acting bug in my head and I um, joined the Old Vic Youth Theatre, the Young Vic Youth Theatre, the Anna Sher Children's Theatre. And then in 79, uh, we formed our own theatre company called the Black Theatre Cooperative. And we did lots of plays around London and Europe. And then eventually London Weekend TV approached us and said, they've been watching us, we'd like to have our own um, TV program. And we said yes, of course, and that's, that was the birth of in the 80s with Channel 4 of the sitcom No Problem. I played Toshiba. It was a, a sitcom about a young black family whose parents had gone back to Jamaica and left them in charge of this big house in Wilsdon. And they were just their escapades and carryings on. And I ran for four years on TV. I walk down the street now and people still say, hey, Tosh, um, it's hard to live down. I'm pretty proud of that stage in my life. And after that, I did a little a brief spell in Desmond's. I worked with some amazing actors, of course, um, Norman Beaton, God rest his soul, fantastic guy. Um, and then I, we had our own program. I had my own show, which I helped write, called uh, Get Up Stand Up, which is comedy and comedy sketches. And that's why I, that's, I get to play a lot of comic characters and stuff. And, you know, it feeds me well. I used to play the saxophone when I was a kid. And um, my saxophone teacher at school never turned up. So I used to plink away on the keyboards and then plink away on the strung away on the guitar and then fur fur on the saxophone. I get so frustrated. And this went on for months and months. So um, eventually I stopped and decided I'm going to learn to play Dave Brubeck's Take Five on the saxophone. I learned it note for note. It took me three, four weeks. I learned it note for note. And I could play it. Sadly, that was the only tune I could play. And the, the, the word had got around that there was this amazing 14 year old kid who's an amazing at the saxophone. So there were bands from Hackney like um, Light of the World, there was um, Loose Ends, and they all came to our school to check out this young saxophone player. And they was mortified when I said that I could only play one tune. And I was mortified because they were my heroes. So I crashed and I never touched the saxophone again. Sad story. Until one day, uh, fast forward 30 years, I walk in Camden Town and I hear the sound and it reminds me of all my history on the saxophone. And when I came across it, it was a little bamboo saxophone. I was amazed by it, so I bought one. By the time I got it home, it had split. I played it like for an hour and it had split. And I fixed it and it split again and I fixed it and I learned to play. Eventually I decided, you know what Chris, it would be a good idea if you made your own version. One that wouldn't split. Luckily, I met this amazing woman. Um, her name's Silvana. And she had bamboo growing in her garden. So I said, um, you know what? I'm going to make my own bamboo sex. So after lots of trial and error, I think I made about 10 before I got one that really was um, what I would call gold star standard. Um, burning holes and burning my fingers uh, lots of trial and error but it paid off in the end I stuck with it and the amazing gold star by the reception board. I actually took some time I took uh, almost two years off of acting to work and develop this because um, as a society I think we're a, we're a buy and a throwaway society and nobody is really, well, very few people are taking the time to create things themselves. Um, I'm proud that I've, you know, I've made this with my, with my own hands. And when you finished it, when it's accomplished, there's no feeling better than, you know, you playing this, something that you've made and created. Um, playing one, I found that I spent more time absolutely focusing 
Now, of course, it could be the same with any instrument, but the sound and the tone you get out of the gold star, it goes right through your in, inner body. Maybe it's the hearse it's tuned into or wherever it is. I'm not actually sure what it is. Um, but people have told me they're more in tune with life and themselves. Now, it's not an instrument you pick up and you expect to blow straight away. It's an instrument you, you take with you. You go to the park or the forest one day or you sit down and spend five minutes with it and play. And at the end of that five minutes, you will have achieved a, a sort of oneness with the environment and the work. As, in, as an actor, I spent a lot of time, a lot of years, uh, sometimes unemployed, waiting for the phone to ring, my agent to call and tell me there's work. And when there was work, it was great fun, you know, and I've learned to live in work and spend lots, earn lots of money. And I've also, I've also learned to live without very little money. But starting your own business, my own business, means to me now that I don't have to depend on the phone to call. You know, I don't have to go on tour for 14 months and work and make everybody else look good. <laughs> right? I've worked really hard. I love the acting business. And, you know, it's, it's uh, for 37 years, obviously, I still love the acting business. But this, I took two years out of that to develop and craft the Gold Star Fabulous Sex. Working for myself, it's, uh, like I said, it's a labour of love. Um, I'm very proud of what I've achieved with this particular instrument. I can pick and choose my acting jobs now. I don't have to just um, accept any job. Um, I'm still an actor, but now also I'm the um, maker, creator of the Gold Star.